So we got a chance to speak to one of the creators of the long-awaited follow-up to Band of Brothers and the Pacific, Apple TV Plus's Masters of the Air. Here's our conversation with legendary Hollywood producer, Gary Goldsman. Uh, Gary, this is an absolute honor. I grew up watching so much of the stuff that you did. Oh. <laughs> uh, but, and congratulations on the show. I am a huge fan of the originals and I've waited a very long time for this and you did not disappoint. Good. And so my first question is, what was the holdup? Like, ah, was ah, this? Ah, 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 ah. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> was there something you could you just couldn't crack? We had twenty other movies to make in the meantime. I um, <laughs> I, you know what? That that actually is a very common question. And you know, we'd buy a book like Where the Wild Things Are, and it would take us fifteen years to make the right. And everything. What? Uh, come on with them. And they're hard, and we're slow. And also this one, it was kind of, you know, it was going to be expensive. It was going to have all these problems to it. And and you had to know once you started it, you were going to spend the next two or three, three years now on this one of your life yeah. on that show. Um, so you got to be up for it. And the technology has to be up for it too. And that right. was probably why it had to be the third. It probably had to be in this time frame, And, uh, and after we got what our story was going to be from Don Miller in his book, uh, Masters of the Air, and and all the research that we had done on it, it then became, okay, how do we visualize this thing? And that technology and the people we worked with to get that done uh, was really the, the task at hand, or it was probably all for naught. So from Air Force to like, 12 o'clock high, Memphis Bell, Spielberg's The Mission. The B-17 is this oddly appealing wartime object, right? And I was yeah. wondering if you had an explanation as to what makes it, like, I think even more than the Spitfire. I think the B-17 has this iconic status. And even growing up, me watching those movies, I kind of fell in love with this airplane. Do you have an explanation as well, to what makes it so special? Sure. The dis The difference between... The Spitfire and some of these other exciting <clears throat> aircraft is that got 10 people in here, 10 right. people all trying to, you know, on the same mission, trying to do the same thing with very different jobs. And it's open, you know, unless you're stuck in the in the rear gunner uh, slot. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? But they they could communicate and, you know, it's a team thing, man. You know? Yeah. Very um, the the series comes at a very exciting time for like Austin, Barry, Callum, Shooty, but you cast them when they weren't vying for Oscars or the lead of a George Clooney movie That's or potentially true. dating Dua That's Lipa. That's true. Or, you know, remember or that being Uma. the new Doctor Who, right? And isn't that yeah, amazing? Like, How happy could we crazy. be for all of them and him especially? It's fantastic. Okay. But but how did you put that ensemble together? What were you it just happened? For? You know, we had a lot of guys pop out of Band of Brothers and a lot of guys from the Pacific, Rami Malik in particular. Um, yeah. you know, who was brilliant in the Pacific, by the way. I don't know if you remember it. But uh, but anyway, it just it just happened. And we kind of knew that that usually happens. We knew we had really good actors, but we didn't think about it much. And then it was just like one after another they just started scoring big roles and now we've actually seen them getting the fruits of their labor you know by notoriety you know from from press and from the public anyway it's really exciting really exciting the aerial sequences yes um in this and you were talking about the technology kind of catching up the aerial sequences in this uh, don't just look fantastic. I think there is this wonderful balance of what's going on outside the plane and what's going on inside the plane. Right. And could you talk to me about what that looked like on the page and how you guys translated it to screen? Um, you know, on the page, it's pretty much plane in the sky, you know, that kind of thing. It comes right. It comes from uh, the, the music and how we play that. And then the most important thing is with all this, you know, crazy effects, sound effects, um, and dialogue and this going on. It comes down to a gentleman that 
I've used for many years, named Mike Minkler, uh, four-time Academy Award winner. Many times uh, he's been nominated, and he's just a fabulous sound mixer. So between Blake Neely, right, our sound yeah. effects editing crew, and him, we find a balance of how that works and to to affect really what you're describing. Uh, I've got like a couple of minutes left, but before I let you go, just speaking about war movies, I think, and I'm sure I'm not the only person who's told you this, but I think Greyhound was severely underrated. And are you guys still making another one? Well, it, it's been so successful for Apple TV Plus that they want us to do another one. And Tom is writing it. Um, he oh, writes wow. he writes those. He wrote the first one. Yeah. And uh and I think he's got it, he's got a pretty good story uh beat out. And you know, we'll just be if we, you know, can you know do it, you know, all the particulars, all the planets align. But uh but we're 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 into doing it. And for me, you know, doing World War II again, it's Navy, right? That kind of fills our yeah. Navy void. Um I think that uh, the best thing is that it's not nine hours. No. <laughs> it's gonna have You're not a, making four films. It's going to have a lot of shit, four or five, depending on who's who was the director on them. Um, but uh, but anyway, it would be it would be fun to do. And I, I like seeing Tom on a boat with a helmet. Yes, I agree. Tom on a boat with a helmet and just this sense of claustro pervasive claustrophobia. <laughs> oh, that yeah. Despite the fact of me sitting in my home on my couch, yeah. I found it difficult to breathe. I thought uh, that was, it was wow. absolutely fantastic, man. It was I'm so cool. I'm telling Tom, he'd love to hear that. That's great. <laughs> um, Gary, thank you so much for your time. This has thank been such you. a pleasure. And, and and thank you for all your work. It's just so Ah, uh, you're sweet. Thank you, sir. <laughs> all right, brother. Cheers, Have man. a good day. Masters of the Air premieres on Apple TV Plus on Friday, January 26th. Check it out. Let us know what you think. Sound off in the comments. And thank you so much for watching.